It's important that we're part of this global economy. For instance, I was in, uh, I think Mr. Kowski's left. I was in her neighborhood dropping my daughter off for college when I heard, I heard that uh, Iran had bombed a Saudi Arabian uh, oil production facility. And being a child of the 70s, my first thought is I better top my car off because I can get home on one tank of gas if it's all the way to the full, uh, expecting disruptions in the gas supply. But because of energy independence, we didn't have any. And I think it went up maybe a dime for half a day or day or so. So the point is, we've got to do all the, and I grew up, uh, I went to college on the, on the Hudson River, about 45 miles from New York City. You couldn't swim in it when I was there. We don't want that. Absolutely don't want that. Now, it's, fortunately, it's rejuvenated itself. We put in protections in place. And so we need communities that are safe. We need communities that people can live in and enjoy the beauty of the Hudson Valley, which they can now, because of laws that Congress put into place, the efforts that people move forward. So uh, we're not selling that, we're, but we want people to have access to affordable, reliable, and sustainable energy. And one way to do it, I want to talk, uh, Mr. Uh, Menzies and Mr. Uh, um, Elshelman, Elsh on, uh, I have a bill in this or a resolution with ex that, that says we don't want export bans on petroleum and, na and natural gas. And the reason is, is that it actually produces lower prices for everybody when producers can, can engage in the world marketplace, it, it allows expansion of supply. So that's why even though there's expansion of demand, it allows expansion of supply at the price that, that's sustainable. You may get some short-term lower prices, but not in the long term. Also, do we want our friends and our neighbors and our allies to be dependent on dictators? If you're dependent on dictators, you're vulnerable to them. So when we choose to say, we're gonna keep it all here, we're gonna say our European friends, you're gonna have to buy from Putin, you're gonna have to buy from Iran, you're gonna have to buy from Venezuela. And, and so if, if the two of you would kind of talk to why it doesn't make sense to ban exports of petroleum, natural gas, Mr. Elsherman and, and, and Mr. Menzies. Well, Congressman, there are a few reasons. One is uh, if we continue to produce oil here at home, those are jobs that remain. Um, if we would stop exporting the oil, those jobs would disappear. So it actually helps when we're producing more here at home and exporting to keep those wells pumping. Um, the other thing I mentioned before is the trade deficit. It's come down tremendously because of the export of oil and natural gas to other countries. About 68% of our LNG exports go to Europe, so it helps our allies. Um, and it helps our own national security. It, it makes sure that we are on the world stage being a player. And uh, so those are the big uh, themes that I would hit. 